Hello, beautiful people. This is your boy. Coming to you live from my bedroom, where all my thoughts and fantasies and dreams and connections and health experiments are conducted in my little bedroom. And, um, a great memory place. And yes, I want to make a video on a... Um, I have so many ideas, but this one's really important to me. And I hope someone gets value from it and tries out this sitting posture. Because we're either standing all day or sitting, but people need to realize that sitting is very powerful if you adopt the right sitting posture, right? And there are yogic ways to sit that are really powerful for your health. So let me share a couple, and the main one I'm focusing on as I conduct my experiments, and one that I'm committed to doing for a lifelong, and why it's so powerful, I'll give you a little bit of the science and all the basic shit, and what it's doing, and why I love it so much, and why you should all practice it, and it's actually quite easy, to a point. Although it will get painful after a while, and then you can push the boundaries for those of you that are extreme into health. Or, but if you're not, if you're gentle on yourself, you can still get a lot of benefits from these sitting postures too. Um, I'm pretty sure they're yogic, um, but yeah, thanks for connecting. Thanks for watching. So yeah, let's talk about sitting. Um, we, we know chairs are really bad, and I'm not going to condone chairs because when you're on car and buses, trains, and cars and shit, we need to sit in chairs. It's just a normal part of society, but definitely a chair just gives you no benefits for your health. On top of the fact your posture, you, people don't give a shit about that. People aren't sitting with a straight back. I mean, you could do one thing whilst you're sitting on a chair, which is not healthy anyway, which is straight back. People don't even do that. So chairs are not ideal. So sitting, we can just use basically the power of the human body to support itself and sit in various yogic ways and simple ways that can also amplify our health that don't involve the support of a chair at the base which isn't using the perineum the anus the leg muscles isn't using the back muscles to straighten it's using fucking nothing what i'm going to talk about is sitting using the basic human body postures of which we were designed by nature one of which is um sitting and squatting which i fucking love i fucking love sitting squatting i love asians i love indians i love indian myself so I love the Indian shit, and squatting is something that's very common in Asian countries. And yes, I've talked about this before, and yes, Western nations have an issue with this type of squatting. Because I haven't actually done it in public in a while, because I prefer some other postures, but in the past when I've done it, I'm always self-conscious, because I know that no one else does that. Have an association of sitting and squatting, right? So let me see if you can, I can roll up a video of me actually doing it. Right. Looks it looks kind of funny, but then I mean, it only looks funny from a Western point of view. There we go. It's very easy to do if you're relatively healthy, and if you practice it, anyone can do it. Although, yes, if you're unhealthy, you won't be able to do that because you know, your legs are too fat and stuff. But you can work at it, and it can get better. It's actually a really comfortable position. I think it's one of the things we were designed to do. Definitely for shitting, sitting and squatting is absolutely what we designed to do. But we can also we were also designed for periods of time, as demonstrated by the Indians. Um, and the Asians, the Thailand, all those countries, and not only is it comfortable, more importantly than comfort, there is comfort and health, and there is no health in a chair, in support, um, in, you know, sitting and squatting is very healthy, it activates the leg muscles, activates the anus, the perineum, bowel movements, um, it's making the heart work faster, the blood vessels um, dilate, and the blood getting all around, it's, it's using your muscles, it's not being lazy, which a chair makes us, chairs and western society makes us lazy. Anyway, that's actually not the one. Hey, Keta, hey Lisa, how's it going, crew? Uh, nice to see you guys. Yeah. The one I really like, oh, there's another one quickly before I get to the main one, which is um, lotus posture. Very powerful, the full lotus posture. That's great for sitting, in my opinion, temporarily. I don't think, unless you're a super flexible yogi, you're going to sit there comfortably for 45 minutes to an hour in in the full posture. I can barely do it. I can do it, but I don't like to sit in it too long because I am generally worried about um, um and even I might not be ready for it. You sit in too long, you can cause yourself problems with full lotus. I certainly get pain after. I'm not sure if it's imaginary pain. That's another issue. I need to figure it out more on the full posture. I won't talk about it too much. However, what I do know about the full lotus posture and what it does primarily why it's so powerful and people use it in meditation and for certain periods of time i just do it and um, when i'm watching tv for like 15 minutes either side so i do like full lotus what it does is it condense it stops the blood coming to the legs it cuts off it sounds bad but it's not it kind of reduces like 50 70 percent the blood supply to the legs 
and the legs take up a huge part of your body, like 36%. Now, why is that beneficial? What happens when you cut off circulation in a healthy way to the legs with the full lotus is you are forcing the blood to beat faster and more blood gets sent because um, it's cut off the legs. It gets sent to the only as below after the second chakra, the, 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 the all the, the anus and the, the stomach, but also the brain. And that's the reason why I like full lotus the most, because your blood supply gets increased to the brain. And I'm obsessed right now with purification of the mind. Like, I came into physical health, not for purification of the body as much as purification of the mind. I'm going to go deep with that shit. So what happens when you put more blood supply to the brain with all the health practicals we do, protocols we do, which all of them do, by the way, but especially the full lotus posture, setting more blood lane, is you're going to purify that mind from defilements, from sun. You're going to balance your brain hemispheres. You're going to feel more centered and balanced. There's a simplistic way. You're going to feel more whole. You hold that for 10, 15 minutes. Full lotus posture again, but this is not the main one I want to talk about. Madarima, nice. Yes, there we go. And it's so great to sit on the toilet. Like you, um, if you're sitting sidetracking a little bit, but if you're sitting on the toilet and you want, you haven't got a squatty potty, you can literally stand, put the seat down, put your two legs on either side, and squat and hold yourself. You hold your hands onto the toilet seat, and you can plop like that. You might splash a little bit of the poo and stuff, and wee, but it's a okay. If you want a guy, obviously you don't need to do the wee stuff that way. But I mean, if you're doing a poo, yes, everyone does. So do it. Put your two feet. It looks really funny, but hey, who watches somebody when they go to the toilet? This is private shit. Cool, isn't it? You can do what you want in the toilet. Hmm. <laughs> you can even do enemas in the toilet in public buildings. No one gives You could take a syringe. That's what I do. <laughs> my vassal retreat, I took my syringe and did um, enemas. Did my little syringe up the bum. No. Like this is the one I really want to um, want to talk because this one's comfortable, easy. It's not like full lotus. Anyone can do it. It's very powerful, and it would do the, give you the same benefits of full lotus. And if you're hardcore enough, you can push the boundaries through pain and really experience some kind of bliss and power with this sitting posture, which is going to improve the health of your organism. And for me, like I said, the focus is getting more blood supply to my blessed brain, so I feel more centered and I can really help my brain and feel myself like happy, happiness. So, it's the brain. so anyway, so what am I doing right now? I'll show you how I'm sitting. This one. Can you see? It's very simple. My knees, down to my knees and my lower legs, I'm just sitting crumpled and I'm using my whole body weight and just putting my body weight entirely on my... Um, and I'm, you can see the legs there. I'm putting my entire body weight on my knees and my lower legs. So there. And that's it. You know? And that looks really simple, right? Put your entire body weight on your knees and legs and fold them up. That's how I'm sitting right now. And I fucking love this. I did it during the entire, um, well, near the end of the passano. Now I'm obsessed with it. Now I know a lifelong in it. What is it doing? It's doing very similar things to full lotus posture, but without the actual effort of the full lotus posture. Because full lotus posture kind of requires flexibility and effort, and it gets painful very quickly. This one will get painful too, don't get me wrong. However, you can go, you can sit like this for a while, like 20 minutes to half an hour, pretty easy, most of us, without too much pain. However, like the full lotus posture, what it's doing is reducing blood flow um, from, from knees to legs. So by putting your entire body weight on your lower legs, by putting your entire body on it for a period of time, what you're doing is, in a healthy way, you are reducing circulation, blood circulation to the lower legs. And that means the heart beats faster and there's more blood in the key areas of the body, of the, brain, of the um, intestines for digestion. Huge. Full lotus posture, this one, amazing for digestion. Amazing for digestion. If you've got constipation, if you're worried about improper bowel movements, if you want better bowel movements, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. As comfortable, easy. It gives you blood, the entire blood, your blood supply just goes to the right areas. And like I said, it really does rebalance your brain hemispheres. I challenge you, I advise you, I, you should try this for like half an hour, 20 minutes, and you will feel more balanced and centered in your body. And that's better digestion and all that stuff, but it's primarily the, the one that makes you feel centered and balanced is the blood flow to the brain. So your brain hemisphere is getting balanced. Your brain gets the oxygen that it badly needs. It gets more oxygen than normal if you were just sitting on a fucking chair which most people aren't doing. Why do you think Alzheimer's dementia and all brain diseases occur? Yeah, Alzheimer's dementia and all brain diseases occur for one very, very simple reason. Not enough oxygen to the brain. Too many toxins in too. But if you've got a lot of oxygen in the brain, you don't need to worry about toxins. You don't need to worry about Alzheimer's dementia. Little postures like this on a 
Elliot said, be surprised. You won't get Alzheimer's dementia and all these fucking brains. These are the people are getting at 60, 70, 80 years old. No way. It's really healthy. And you'll feel balanced, centered, and calm. Isn't that why we're here in the world? To feel balanced, centered, and calm? So sit. let's sit properly then. Let's do the sitting squats. Let's do the full lotus. Or let's do this one. Just sit down. Use the body weight. It's like a... It's like a yoga is your own body we don't need tools tools are cool but i'm not talking about tools now i'm talking about using your body to get healthy just using your own body weight to become a healthier person how simple how cool how free doesn't cost anything very cool i love sitting in this way and i will talk a lot more about about it's really powerful i love it i do it a lot i remember when i went last year to flat earth camp and um john egerton um the wizard was sitting in this way again i'll just show you quickly just like this, using your body weight, you crumple the lower legs and put all the pressure on it and sit like that for a long period of time. And he was doing that. And I, I remember looking at him and he seemed really balanced. And his the way he was moving his left side of the body with the right side seemed very coordinated and balanced, more than normal in himself. I just felt that I could feel it. Now I know why. And now I know why I remembered it. My RES, reticular activation, because it rebalances the brain hemispheres. That's actually why we're here, guys, in my opinion to feel centered, calm, peaceful, and rebalance our brain hemispheres. That's why we do breath work. That's why we do fasting. That's why we do age urine. That's why I do them. That's why I do grounding. Grounding is huge for rebalancing your brain hemispheres, by the way. That is huge. I see that now. It actually, the medicine gets to the brain and completely negative ions when they get those two. Age urine drinking. Age, negative ions when it gets to the brain really does rebalance the brain hemispheres too. You can use your own body weight to rebalance yourself and become back into, um, come back into health. And that's why the Indians are healthy. Not just because they're squatting for the toilet and Asians. They're, 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 they're sitting like this. They're centered within their body. They're using their own body weight. They're using their health for that purpose. All right, that's it. The free ones, the, uh, the, the free ways I told you, are cool. Sitting squatting is awesome, but looked down upon and frowned upon on Western nations, isn't it? That's what re that really is. So that's a hard one to do in public. Definitely improve. Um, full lotus posture again if you did that in public you look fucking weird however socially acceptable and probably the one i love the most because that one i can really push the boundaries and um it really does wonders if you sit you try doing it for an hour guys you'll i start feeling pain after like 45 minutes and then you can play around if you want with going through the pain and learning a few lessons on how pain is like a wave that you think and then it just disappears and it, you, all pain is temporary. You'll, you'll learn some lessons from from this posture if you hold it long enough. And if you don't, cool, because you're still going to get benefits like 10 minutes of sitting in this posture, 20 minutes for health purposes. Health sometimes it really is that simple. Just It's the little daily things we do on a, that are powerful. This thing phenomenal and funky all the time and like I need this I need to do that you know sometimes it's simple as just adopting a sitting posture getting rid of a chair sometimes it's sleeping on the floor and getting rid of a bed sometimes it's going for a poo and, the, and using a sitting squat position instead of a normal poo you know sometimes it's just grounding for five minutes it's not like a, a major major shock a major things we need to do all the time but sitting is something we're always doing so consider that always consider your sitting posture and when you're in chairs and you have to be Fair enough. When you're in a privacy, or when you can get away with it, adopt these sitting postures and change your health. Use your body. Because you don't want to do... We don't want to... Thanks for watching. I don't want to ramble on. So, peace, love. I appreciate all you guys for watching. And, um, yeah. Let's all sit properly. <laughs> sit properly? Let's all get healthier by using the power of the body to sit properly.